guys, we are back, and today we're gonna be making, we're gonna go try out these. It's a topoki powder, the sauce is spicy, but we're gonna use it for our topoki. Okay, so with that, I'm gonna go put some, a little, there we go. Think about two tablespoons, not putting a lot because I don't know how it tastes. I'm not a fan of the instant kind. So we're gonna go see, sorry, my camera is bad. And then we're gonna go add hondashi, of course. It's very important. And if you guys have nori or seaweed flakes in your house, this is a good time to add it as well. And I made my very own tteokbokki rice cake. So we're gonna go add these as well. And now let's get started. We're gonna add a little bit of nori now. Nori, give me nori. About, about one teaspoon. So this is a teaspoon. And then we're gonna add a teaspoon of also the hondashi. Okay, now add a teaspoon of the hondashi. If you're asking me, I already have the instant mix. Why add all this stuff? It's because I'm not satisfied with the taste of that one. So we're adding these and then we're gonna go add a tablespoon or maybe just a teaspoon of the goju, goju chung. <laughs> I forget how to pronounce it. I have to go get the container so I remember. Okay, so it is pronounced goju chung. So this one is mild, but I find it very spicy. It's strangely. So we're just gonna need a little bit. These is really good. So if you guys doesn't have that instant one, and if you guys want to make your homemade tteokbokki sauce, you just need that one, a hondashi, and also the nori flakes or the seaweed flakes, and then green bell, green bell pepper, green onions, and you're good to go. There we go, mix it, mix it, make it yummy. So we're making the easiest way. We don't want complicated food and still be able to enjoy the taste we wanted. Right, guys? We're cheating. We like cheating when it comes to food. No one needs all those stuff when you can do the shortcut. Okay, that is done. It's now boiling and now we're gonna go add our tteokbokki or rice cake. So if you guys can get uh, the rice cake that is already pre-made and don't want to go do a lot of work, this one I used to go get, but you guys can get every any bread I think is good. So we're gonna go get this one. I froze the rest of it since I don't know. I'm gonna start eating the rest. So just dump it there. Hey, whoop, a little bit more. A little bit more, and then I'm just gonna go mix my my other ones. And if you guys have a fish ball or a fish cake. This is the right time to add it. I'm just going to add mine with a fish ball. Since I don't have the rice a cake. So, I'll get that for now. Now I have uh, two fish balls. I just need two. And then that is added. And now we're going to go get uh, some of our green onions. Now it's time for us to add the green onion. There we go. And then we're going to go add my homemade rice cake because these will cook quicker than the other ones since they are smaller much smaller see that's mine my homemade kind so just mix mix <laughs> we are not the proper the proper chef in the house but we make the homemade oh well okay two more there we go and that's that and now we'll be right back when it's getting ready Okay, looks like our rice cake is ready. So we're gonna add our our chicken, our eggs. So we got uh, two eggs. I opened this side here because we wanna put it in the middle. Okay, we'll be back. Moment of truth. Let's go see if it's ready. I covered it with just a plate. Ooh, look at that. Oh no, the steam went to my iPad. Look at that color, nice and yummy. Our tteokbokki is ready, nice and looking so good and yummy. So we're going to be eating, you guys. See you next time. Bye.